Welcome back to another Horizon Challenge. We're putting the races to test again, and we're back on the Alliance track with the smallest, most pontable race in the entire world of Warcraft. We're back with the gnomes, and so far, spoilers, we've done humans, we've done orcs, we have done night elves, and we've done trolls. They have all won. One of them even was fast. I'm gonna let you figure out which one that was if you go back and watch these videos. You haven't seen them, but uh, they've all been successful uh, in their respective challenges. And today it's going to be on Gnome to make a big name for very, very small. And I cannot stress, I cannot possibly stress enough how small they are. People, not even people, they're, they're gnomes and they're short. Like they're extremely short. Let's see what we can do. The challenge is the same as always. We get three games on the wild ladder that's a competitive environment except it's wild but it's ladder and we have to win one that's all we have the challenge is to win a deck with a uh with a deck of 30 cards that depict knobs so let's see what we can do all right fun time by the way there is the gnome hero so we had to pick a human i think actually i think nemzi is a gnome but next is no was there no no warlock was there were that enough cards? I mean, there would have been enough gnomes, but I just like the mage ones better. Oh boy. I think you made an oopsie in construction there. Not sure if this counts. But we have to, by the way, make one correction that we are only found out recently right now. Uh, further studying the races. Um, we had a uh, an infiltrator in the human tank. Uh, that was not actually a human. It turns out that what's the name of the Raider? The 2 3 Pirate? Uh, yeah, so. There, it, uh, it is categorized as a dwarf, but there. To be fair, there is one of the Hearthstone comics that actually has her be a human. So, not everyone agrees on whether or not she's an or uh, she's a dwarf or a human. But apparently, she's supposed to be. A human. Dude, I have cost reduction. Like everything I get is exactly one mana two. <laughs> Allegations have it. Not so it's actually a dwarf. Uh, I guess. Yeah, so actually, boy. So yeah, uh, if we were if we were um, consequential, we should have flipped one. That was of course, because there is a no. If you can call it that, consideration. We can hero power this off and play the one. Actually, I I have a better idea. Hmm. I'm gonna play a three drop. Honestly, I, I had no idea what it did as a battle cry spot. Oh, it, it's Guardian Lock Merchant. It deals one damage to a minion and gives a divine shield. What expansion is it from? The newest one. Really? Is it that bad? Yes, it's from Ashes of Outland. No, it's. it's dude, th this is totally a meta card. A meta card? Well, how come I've never seen it in my life? And I this is like a legendary. core inclusion. Dude, it's a core inclusion in, uh, in uh, Highlander Zulok, okay? I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. The most off map deck that exists. Dude, I love that deck. I know it's not it's, I know it's not that. It's all uh, Microtech, I guess. Yeah. Hunter and AoE, right? And uh, go get an R, I would think. Yeah, this deck is very good at aggro because we have both Backstreet Leper and Leper Gnome in there. Although we only have one Backstreet Leper because I only had one, so, you know. That's back. That's good. We have Life Charger too, didn't even get it. Yep. I, uh, I, bu I built the entire deck so we have a relatively aggressive curve. You're actually surprisingly flexible with Gnomes. And then I have some high-end stuff like Scribe for board presence and, you know, Toki because I like Toki. Dude, imagine how unrealistic Hearthstone must be. Like, imagine Rexar, like the actual dude Rexar, and then there's like five gnomes in front of him that are like the, literally like reach to like the size, like maybe his his. It's not even that, like halfway up his shins. Yeah, like, Rexar is just, huge. <laughs> Rexar is big, and gnomes. Listen, gnomes are extremely short. As a matter of fact, they are the smallest race. Oh, that's true. yeah, that, that's These definitely true. Uh, question: Actually, with allied races being taken into consideration, are Volpira shorter than gnomes? I don't know, but I don't even think. So. I think Volpira are taller than the gnomes. Uh, what is it? Oh, just 
Uh, it buffs. Actually, dude, I never actually realized we have mechs. We have mechs. That's yeah. fascinating. Yes. It's good. Go face everything, just... Yep. Diagram. I love I love the flexibility of orc merchants because you can uh, you can use them to kill stuff or you can use them to buff your own minions. Give that to the own own three two. I could have done it to my own three two. Yes. To be fair, even if he were to clear our board, we are, he's still on a three turn clock. So. No hunter heals. No hunter heals. Explosive crap. Oh. Easy. Hey, Dude, gnomes just off. might be faster than orcs, I'm telling you. No, 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 no. Gnomes are not faster than orcs. Let me check the size comparison. The race with seen... the shortest legs might just be the fastest. <laughs> orcs certainly faster. I mean, the, far the fastest race should be worgens, because they themselves are wolves. They should be easily fastest. Yeah, that, that might be right. I'm not but sure how, how fast are Tauren, actually. They're cows! Do you have you seen cows outran wolves out in the wild? Uh, oh, not, uh, not specifically, but um, it is worth noting that cows apparently do outrun humans, which is not that spectacular of a feat because humans aren't exactly fast either. Humans aren't fast. Like cows and wolves, like wolves are fast. And then cow. Like, works don't look like they're fast, but in hearts, the works are very fast. <laughs> they had. And they gnomes were, also don't look fast, but they are—they just might be the fastest. Yeah, I think I think orcs were fast at this, but uh, we have another successful race. Congratulations, and uh, not even at the moment. That's incredible. So next time we'll be back with presumably another horde race. We could we could just go back to back short races, don't deserve rights, and go with goblins. Uh, yeah, we could do goblins next week. We might be able to do Tauren, I'm honestly not certain. I thought we, I, I was very confident about some races being doable, and then when I tried making some decks, it didn't end up being as easy as I thought, so we'll see. Something else should also be doable, but uh, we'll try our best uh, to make as many of the race decks as possible, just to, to, to highlight the existence of the race, which is all acceptable in the craft. This is also good to great as much as we want to. 5 and 0 with the wins. Thank you for watching this one. Gnomes are short. Gnomes were really, really small, but they did it, which means that since they did it, everyone should be able to hear it. Because gnomes are the worst. Well, Volpir aren't in the game, and I guess goblins could be worse. But we'll see if goblins can do it. Maybe in the next one, we'll see what we can do. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like on it if you did enjoy it. And uh, subscribe to Trash Gate TV. We are going to be back tomorrow with more Hearthstone content, just might be the next challenge uh, if we can uh, assemble a proper deck. And we're gonna test the speed and winability of yet another race in the world. Long to short, JJ. That's it? That's it.